So I get an email last night, and it's from a local modeler friend of mine who sells a lot of engines. And he sent me just a link to an RC Group's uh, ad that he's got and said, some engines, I can't remember exactly what his email said, it didn't really say anything, it was just basically, take a look or whatever, here's a link. Well, when I went and looked at the link, he had some engines that were uh, pretty interesting, but one that caught my eye that I actually went to the field to pick up today was this one. You're going to say, holy crap, David, haven't you had several Brad engines in the last few months? And I'm going to say, yeah. There was a <clears throat> really good friend of mine, Scott, who bought me a Brad 28 engine, which reminds me that I still haven't even got around to running that thing yet. I've got so much stuff backlogged here, it's not even funny. So he had sent me, Scott had sent me a, a Brad 28 engine, one of two. Um, the first one had a bent crank pin. I sent that back to him, then he sent me this other 28 that I've yet, yet, yet to run. That was a, a, a used engine lightly used so I've got to pull that out and get that on the stand but this one I saw I really couldn't turn it down this is a new in box I don't know if you're gonna be able to read that or not uh, Brat 28 or I'm sorry Brat 25 AAC engine so this probably was a predecessor to the 28 because it's a smaller displacement this engine is new in box never seen fuel we have all of our documentation our instructions and here's this magnificent little pristine new in box Taiwanese made engine. Look at this beautiful thing. Now I think it's interesting. I don't recall if the 28 had a composite back cover or not, but this one does. And this one, I've tried turning it over and I can't even turn it over by hand. Free as the day it came from the factory complete with this cute little exhaust that's still sealed in the bag. So I mean this is a super cool, super cool find. Uh, new in box Brat. This one clearly uh, I would say dates back to Mid a mid to late late-ish 80s. I can't recall exactly when. Uh, let me see the 25 here. I can't recall exactly when these were being brought into the U.S. It's a World Engines import, and I know I saw a lot of ads for World Engines uh, when I was first in the hobby. So I have a feeling this dates back to at least the early 80s, anyway. Um, so anyway, more upcoming videos. You know, hopefully I'll run this thing. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave this one new in a box and just run the 28 that Scott sent me. I don't really know. All I know is this was a cool score for very, very little money, which was why I bought it, <coughs> um, because it was like next to free, and it's a classic engine. So there you go.